Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video we're taking a look at the latest Windows Mobile 6.5 build, that is 23047. Last time we looked at 23037, and there have been some changes, they're not huge, but they really lend to a nicer visual experience and kind of gives us an idea of where Microsoft is going with this interim build of Windows Mobile that's so mysterious. So as we can see, this is the same screen we're looking at right now, and the, the little carousel, the pivot at the top, is much smoother in the newer version. It's much more refined, it's not as crappy looking as it was in the previous version, and of course you can swipe your finger to sort of move it from side to side. We got the big menu coming up here. And also you can make the swipe anywhere on the page, although you could do that in the previous build of Windows Mobile 2. So let's click on OK and go back. Now something else that is different in this new build is that the bottom button that says back is actually a back arrow now. So I, it looks like Microsoft is really trying to remove all the text from the bottom bar. Let's go into something like calendar and see if we've got any, um, any text in there. Yeah, and the same thing applies here. So in the older 23037, it says day and menu. But here in 24037, we get an actual little icon that allows us to jump from the view to view or go right into the menu. So we're going to have a lot of buttons down here. It looks like up to five soft keys at a time in this interim build of Windows Mobile, which is good and it's bad. It's good because all of the buttons are consolidated in one area. It's bad because it kind of gets a little cluttered at times. Something else that is different that we can see from here is that the menu has been consolidated a lot and it's really cleaned up a lot. No longer do we have the grayed out items. They've just taken them away so that you get, you get a nicer view of just the items that you can actually action on. It kind of doesn't make sense to have grayed out items when you have to flick through a massive list and you're on a mobile phone and you're trying to be productive. But it looks like they're trending towards cutting out all of the stuff that you can't actually use. And of course, if we go into tools and options, we see again that pivot list, and we see a nicer way of having these drop down menus versus how it looked before. Now it's a little more cleaned up and you can select it a little bit more nicely. So that was a quick look at Windows Mobile 6.5 build 24037. It looks like the builds are evolving very slowly at this point, but with each incremental upgrade, we're getting sort of Microsoft's vision of where Windows Mobile is going after 6.5. So we'll keep a close eye on the next evolution of Windows Mobile 6.5. To find out when the next build is out, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.